beauties and welcome back. I decided actually to film two videos today um, because I love my foundation so much I may as well do my little look that I've been doing for the past week or so. Um, I love in like the fall and winter time to either obviously go super bold and smoky and like kind of blow out the eyes and then do a beautiful nude lip or I like to do obviously you know something really soft and then a bold lip. But I really love, and I've done this for a couple years now, um, I love doing just a like, nice little wash of natural color and then do gold and then really keep my skin super dewy and then do a deep, deep, deep like burgundy or plum or even black lip. Um, I love the aesthetic. I love how it looks and that's what I'm going to be doing today. So you guys are a little bit closer today. I mean, hello, it's foundation, you guys. And you'll see, obviously, a kind of follow-up in the last video prior to this one. Um, but this has been on now for about 45 minutes, and I just, it looks like I just put it on. I love the way that I've been doing my foundation lately. So everything is set. Um, I did put just foundation and then a little bit of concealer that was left on my beauty sponge and then put powder on it. That's it. Like, I don't actually use eye primers. But I'm going to go into the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette, and I'm going to be just laying a little wash of this gold right here and then the gold gold on top and obviously this is more of like a neutral gold and this one definitely has a lot more yellow to it um but that's it I don't do transition shade I don't do any of that kind of stuff and I know it sounds crazy and I'm not doing my brows lately you guys because as you can see um I'm growing them in and they just look like shit anyway <laughs> and it's been a pain in the butt to try to actually define them and do a brow if you will so I've just been going all natural with the brows and I'm just gonna let it be what it is for the next few months um, my 40th birthday is in a few months, well, in March, um, so I'm really trying to, like, grow my brows out and stuff between now and then, um, and I did lie, I did use one brush and then my fingers, but I'm gonna go into a fluffy BH Cosmetics brush and go into the Drippin' Diamonds, which is the more, you know, kind of bronzy gold, and I'm literally going to sweep it across the entire lid, almost all the way up, just really, really softly. And this is something that really, I mean, you could obviously do your brows <laughs> and then do lashes and like a really beautiful cat wing with this and really kind of amp this look up. I just, I love how it looks when it's complete. It's just very soft, very natural, but you know, having the bolder lip, I just, I love it. You guys, I absolutely love it. And like I said, you could go almost all the way up and I'm going to bring it on the inner corner as well. And if you have not used this palette, and this is an older palette, I'm obsessed with it and I love it. I've had it for a long time. Um, it smells so amazing. Like, it makes me want coffee. I don't really do chocolate. Yeah, you don't shoot me. But it makes me want coffee. <laughs> okay, so once I have that little bit of, like, I guess the softer gold, if you will, I'm literally going to take my finger and go into chocolate gold. Kind of pretty heavily. And then I'm going to walk it just down the lid. And you can use a brush for this. Obviously anything that has like, you know, it's a metallic shade or a glitter shade or anything like that, I definitely feel like using your fingers or a wet flat brush is the best, you know, route to go. Um, I'm personally, you know, a fan of just using my fingers and just kind of walking the fingers across the lid and like pressing it in. You would definitely use the same pressing method. You're not going to kind of sweep a shadow like this across if you're really trying to lay down like, you know, nice heavy foiled pigment. And then I'm just going to take my finger and just softly kind of buff the edges just a little bit. And then for the bottom, again, I'm staying just very, very soft and I really try to just want to have, you know, the pop of the gold and then do the deep lip if I can find the brush I was like, And then I'm going to go into Decadent, which is a matte black. And don't be afraid because we're just very lightly going to line the under eyes with this. I'm not smoking this out. I am not going for like harsh or anything like that. I just want just a little definition on the bottom lash line. And you can obviously use any gold that you have. Excuse my dog if you hear her. Anyone else feel like, you know, either kids or dogs just want to like make all the noise they possibly can? Yeah. So 
so I am now going to just take my brush and just wipe underneath. There wasn't no fallout or anything. I'm just making sure, and I just it'll soften it up just a little bit for me. And that's it. I don't do a brow bone color or anything like that. I don't do anything else from this part. Obviously, if my brows were done, it would look a little bit better. Let's just be realistic, okay? Um, but yeah, and then we're gonna do a couple coats of mascara. I have been living for the sponsor of Big, you guys, and I believe I will buy the full size of this instead of Better Than Sex next time. Um, we'll see which one's cheapest, though. <laughs> but I really love this. I feel like it performs just as nicely as the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and I am obsessed with Too Faced Better Than Sex. I have been for a very long time. Um, this works so nice. It's definitely very black. I feel like it's like wet enough to coat the lashes but not so wet that I feel like, you know, it gets clumpy or sticky like some can. I just, I enjoy it. And if I'm gonna wear just one mascara, because I traditionally will do two, um, if I would do, you know, just one, this is what I'm gonna use, or better than sex. I normally will use two mascaras every single time I do my makeup, but again, I'm trying to keep the eyes just very natural and golden and not do too much to them. I'm gonna put a ton of mascara, just enough to open the eyes up. So, and you can see how this performs. I mean, it's a stunning, stunning mascara. And then I always do my bottom lashes. Even if I'm going kind of a little bit more natural, I just feel like it just keeps the eyes open when you do your bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna dip back in just lightly. And keep in mind too, you know, we're gonna warm the skin and stuff like that as well. absolutely have been loving this look. I have a beautiful gold shadow. I actually hoarded them for a long time because I was pretty sure, well I'm still pretty sure they're sold out, but because they were sold out or getting ready to sell out, so I bought a bunch of these Carmendy and Company um, gold shadows that are one of the absolute best golds I've ever used. And it's like a really, a true like gold gold. I love it so much. So that is the eye. As you can see, like the black just gives it a little something, but it's not too much. It's still kind of just very natural and very golden, which is what I'm going for. And then I'm gonna go into the Crayon Case G brush. I love this brush so much. It is like, I love this brush. And I did forget to set my bronzer out. Excuse me. I'm gonna go into my Too Faced Sun Bunny. This is also one of my holy grails. And instead of actually like contouring, contouring and kind of building up color, I'm just gonna use this and kind of heavily bronze, if you will. <laughs> and this brush, because of the way that it's made, because it's super soft and the bristles are not like tightly packed in here, I feel like you can really build up your product with this. And I just, I love that. I absolutely love that. So again, I'm just warming up the skin. Again, you know, I want to be just nice and bronzy. Just very soft, bronzy, dewy, goldy. I just, I love this. And this is definitely something that I do in the summertime um, also. And then kind of load up my highlight. And then I do like a new lip. So this is kind of a version of like my go-to summer look. But I don't know. I'm just loving it for right now. I think especially, you know, when you head into like Christmas and stuff like that definitely think this would be a beautiful look for that. Um, if you have like really fair skin, I would probably say, I mean golds are beautiful I feel like on anybody, um, but I think doing this like all silvers and then doing like a more, you know, kind of white highlight if you will on top would be stunning for like New Year's. Super stunning. Um, I'm not a silver person. <laughs> so again, just really softly, just buffing that into the skin. I'm gonna go a little bit at the tip of my nose and then just kind of brush some under my chins. <laughs> so now you get the idea. Just, I mean, it's just very, I love this look, you guys. Love it. This is it. And then I'm gonna go into my Oprah and Nikki Tutorials Everglow highlight. Um, I do not use this one unless I'm using it as an eyeshadow. It's just a little bit too deep for my complexion. Um, I actually use a mixture of both of these right here. This one's a little bit more kind of white light champagne and this one's a little bit more gold champagne. But I love them together. And then I'm gonna go into my Morphe R36 brush. 
And again, I'm just dipping into both of these just a little bit on the tips of the brush. Oh, guys. And then just softly buffing that up. And then I do kind of make like a little, I guess like a C or like a U come all around. It's like a candy cane shape. <laughs> Since we're talking about the holidays. And back into both. And then I really have it off. And I want to do just a little bit right through here. And obviously if you, you know, don't want to do like an all gold, you can definitely do like black and gold together. I think green and gold is stunning. That's also one of my absolute favorite, you know, color combinations as far as shadows go. But I just, I love this. I love how this looks together. And then having the dark vampy lip, because normally you don't associate, I guess, like golden glowy skin with like a darker vampy lip. You think about glosses or you think about like a really pretty nude. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm really obsessed with this look. And when I highlight, I just do kind of right here and right here, and then I'll kind of smooth it out some. I've never understood, this is my personal thing, I've never understood why if people are trying to hide their nose or snatch the nose or whatever, um, why they put a big stripe of highlight down the entire center of the nose. Highlight brings forth something, you guys, so it's going to make your nose look longer, but that's just me, you know, but hey, I don't feel like you can ever do too much highlight unless you're doing it literally over your entire face and then you look like you're sweating balls. So that's it. Like that is the look, and then I'm about to do the lip. I absolutely love this look so much. Um, I am gonna go ahead and spray it and set it with some Mario Badescu setting spray. Not really a setting spray, but it hydrates the skin and looks really beautiful. And I'm gonna use my little Allure pamphlet and just dry that off just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into my Morphe sponge and walk it right here above the highlight. I really feel like if you do that with your products, especially if you feel like you're looking a little bit cakey or a little bit too powdery, if you kind of take your beauty sponge, especially through here because I have, you know, obviously some texture to my skin, I just feel like it kind of helps that and alleviates that for me and I just love it. And then last but not least, we're going to go into the lippy and this is an indie brand called Mimi Cosmetics and it's the shade with my name on it, Riri. <laughs> So I love it. And I love a purple. I love any kind of purples, burgundies, you know, plums, things like that. And then I'm obsessed with nudes. I probably have too many nudes. Not literally, but you know. Um, but I love this color combination together. And these lippies are phenomenal. They smell absolutely amazing. And they glide on really beautifully. glide on beautifully they dry pretty quickly and they don't dry your lips out which is what I really appreciate like I love me a Kylie lip you guys but her shit dries my lips bad and it really starts breaking down pretty easily oh shit <laughs> we're gonna have to fix that like my Kylie lippy I can eat anything, pretty much, you guys, and it starts to break down on me. Um, and God forbid it would be something that's greasy <laughs> at all. And I'm not talking shit about Kylie Cosmetics. I love, love, love the shade Moon. It's my holy grail lippies. I just know that that's like a going out lippy and not like a dinner, you know, dinner or drinking lippy. <laughs> So this is a little bright for me, just one coat. I do feel like you kind of do have to build these up just a little bit. But I, I you guys, I absolutely love this. I love this color together, this color combination together. I 
obsessed. Obsessed. And I've also done this with just the gold eye with a little bit of black shadow underneath. You can obviously use liner, you can do a cat wing, whatever your personal preference is. Um, but I also like to do the gold and like really soft and golden and dewy and then do a black lip. You guys, it's fierce as heck. I love it so much. So that is the finished look. I mean, I love it. I think it's stunning. So I am getting ready to go to the store now, <laughs> like I was supposed to do an hour ago. Um, but thank you so much beauties for watching and if you like this video at all, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you hit the notification bell, I'd be even more grateful and thankful. So please remember to tell this video, I'm just beautiful. Bye!